Welcome to Cebu City in the Philippines. It's a loud, chaotic, dirty city, and most people pass it up whenever they come to the Philippines. They get here, they go right out to an island to a resort, and uh, I understand that, but historically, I find this place incredibly fascinating. So right here, Cebu City, is where Magellan landed in 1521, kicking off over 300 years of Spanish colonization and rule. This is the oldest city in all of the Philippines. This street right here, Cologne Street, the oldest street in all of the Philippines. And uh, yeah, let's go check this out. It's also where Christianity was introduced into Asia. And from here, it spread, spread far and wide across the lands. And to this day, it's still considered the cradle of Christianity in Asia. It's also known as the Cebuano Street Food Hub, the center. It's uh, pretty much everything you, everything you could want. Hey, you. Hey, you. How are you? Yeah, I don't even know. Long Kong. Now, like any city, you have to exercise some common sense. This looks really good, actually. We will try some food at some point. Cooked over an open fire. That's some type of fish stew. Wow, look at all these dishes. Marsh soups going. It's like some type of pork belly Hello. in there. Hello! Hi. Uh, it's right about, it's right at noon, so it's lunchtime. Everyone's just eating. It's like a deep fried pepper. Hello, sir. Looks good. Is it, is it very hot? No. No, not very hot? Yeah, I'm going to have one dynamite. I'm going to go for the deep fried pepper. It's called dynamite? Dynamite. Dynamite, all right. One dynamite, one dynamite, and lumpia? And two lumpia, right here. Thank you. Three pieces. Three pieces, three pieces. Perfect. Okay, so put the sauce in the plate. Grab some chilies. <laughs> My fingers are gonna burn, aren't they? Okay. All right, here we go. We're gonna try a piece of the lumpia. Quite good. Yeah, really good. I like the spice. You can add more. I think it's uh, mixed with uh, coconut wine. So. It's like a, a soy and coconut. I'm going for the dynamite. Oh, there's... Mm. There's some type of meat in the dynamite. You guys should have told me about the eating bags. Now my hands yeah, are... Sorry, sorry about that. Yeah, next, no, now I know, next time. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's nice to meet you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, look at this nonsense down here. Let's go. So we go deeper and deeper into the old city of Cebu City. Just different clothes. 
Like, almost looks like costumes, I guess, or traditional outfits. I don't know. I don't know. And we're back in the open. These, these hustlers right here. Tech shop, glasses. Umbrellas. There seems to be a lot of construction in the area. Really want to be careful coming home at the end of the night down a street like this. We know my luck. There we have it. 100 meters turn right for Magellan's Cross. Looks, uh, I don't know, looks, woo. Smells a little pungent. I always make the worthwhile landmarks and sites difficult to get to, the good ones. You have, you have to earn it. You can't just roll up on all the good stuff. Hello, how are you? Magellan's Cross, this way? Straight? Thank you. Left, right here. Thank you, guys. All right, I just got some direction from these working men, and uh, we're on course. Ferdinand Magellan was the leader of the Spanish expedition that completed the first circumnavigation of the world. Quite an accomplishment. I don't know the exact dates, but I do know in April of 1521, they were here. And this cross that we're about to see is a cross they planted on this shore in the name of Christianity. See up top. It's a very beautiful mural on the ceiling, and I'm assuming it's obviously depicting the planting of this cross by the Spanish conquistadors. This is where. It all began, Christianity in the Asian world, this very spot. Now there is a basilica right here, but I'm noticing a lot of effort, a lot of signage about proper attire. Let's go see if I qualify. I doubt it. I might qualify. Let's go. There's only one way to find out. It's good. So. No shorts. Okay. Well, to be honest, at this point, I'd really, really like to find a beer. Let's see if we can do that. Also, I noticed uh, if you go left up here, it's starting to look like quite the shanty town. And uh, yeah, I think we should go explore that. Hello. Are you playing with matches? You're not supposed to play with matches. I saw that. I'm going to tell. Little kid with wet matches. Huh. All right, we have more street food. We have shit all over the street. Watch my step. Yeah, this is. Come here. 
Don't tell any other kids. Run, 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 run. All right, before this, I get a swarm on me. She's, <laughs> she's literally screaming to her friends right now. Uh, yeah, this is crazy looking. Let's go. That's a shit to wade through. Now watch your step. Watch your step in this neighborhood. People working, people selling food, delivering packages, people just relaxing, enjoying their day. Lots of traffic. Hello, sir. More street food up here. Hello. Yeah, everyone's just enjoying their lunches. There's different, different alleyways. A little run down, more run down than your normal city, but, you know, there's got to be a beer around here somewhere. Is there a beer? Where can I buy a beer? A beer. This way? This way. Hi, friend. We got a little insight into the beer. This way. Hey! You know, this might be the place to find uh, my Filipino bride. Classic love story. Two people, different side of the tracks, never meant to be together, yet can't help falling in love. This could be it. This could be my destiny right here. Got dogs, more fruits. What's up, brother? How you guys doing? Where can I buy a beer around here? Beer? Yeah. You go there. Right there. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Okay. It's beer time. It's in the sight. In my sights. So I guess we're right on the water. Maybe we can. Grab that beer and work our way over here. Oh, I don't know, man. Dorian, durian. Yeah, I, I like. I like durian. It's good fruit. You never tried it? You need to. It's uh, one of those fruits that tastes different to different people. Some people, delicious, normal fruit. That's my case. Other people, it tastes like rotting flesh. This is gonna be a tough one to get. I'm gonna just go local style and just fucking go for it. Ugh. All right. <laughs> Hello. I'm trying to find a beer. Is there a beer? Someone selling beer around here? A beer? Yeah. This way. Okay. This way for the beer. Let's keep going. Uh, washing dishes, frying fish. Oh, that looks delicious. It's like a parrot fish. People enjoying the meals. Let's continue. Oh yeah, this looks nuts in here, let's go.
The big red horses. No small beer, just big. Hmm. All right, little lady. Don't tell anybody, run. And we have copyrighted music. Yeah, so Cebu City has been a very successful shipping port, even before the arrival of the Spanish. They traded all over Asia, and uh, it was already thriving by the time the Spanish arrived, but they, of course, took everything to another level. Let's go down this way and see if we can't find the water. Hello. Hello. Water and a beer. Or durian. All kinds of different fruits in this dark little alleyway. Pineapples. Some fruits I recognize, some I do not. And we're in the light. Yeah, we have to be close to the port. I mean, this all looks very, very fresh. Being unboxed, like it's just been shipped here. Over here, we have some very, very, very cool. Hey, dude. Hey. We have some crazy, crazy looking homes. And yeah, it looks like people are living in there. There's laundry being hung. It looks like they could just collapse. Collapse at any minute. I don't know how well I would sleep in there. Hello, Hello sir. Maybe this guy. Does anyone sell a beer? Sell a beer? Beer? A beer? No beer? Over there. Beer. In the restaurant? Beer. Beer. Oh, wait, you have beer? No, I would like a... Over there. Over there, thank you. Close. Close, oh man. This is just not gonna happen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. Naked children. That's how you know you're traveling. You know you're far from home by the quantity of naked children running around. Hello. Do you sell, do they sell any beer? A beer? Do you have a beer? Oh, great. I'll have, can I have one beer? Belsin Red Horse. Red Horse. Red Horse. Do you have any small? Yeah, yeah, we have a small. Oh, good. I'll have a small beer. Looks like a ceviche. And then these are the rice packets. So they pack the rice in dry and then cook it. We have some fish heads. And we have a... Thank you so much. This is great. I've been asking everywhere. No one had any beer. All right. Cheers. And this is a good beer. Red Horses. Is Thank you. You have a great day. And let's go. Cheers. All right. Watch, watch my step. So Red Horse is the strongest of the beers you can buy here in the Philippines. In fact, uh, when usually if a Fil Filipino asks you, like, oh, what's your favorite beer? And if you say Red Horse, you get the, oh, oh, <laughs> because it is, it is a strong beer. I don't know what the percentage is. Oh, it's only, it's 6.9. Well, that's, that's a strong beer. And let's continue. Looks nuts over here. Let's go. Sorry, man. Ah. 
Oh, they just run you straight over here. Oh, it's the ocean. You can see see the ocean over here. Yeah. Okay. So let's go this way. Let's just see if we can see the ocean. That's fucking cool. Jesus, dude. It's because I'm a foreigner in this neighborhood doesn't mean I'm lost. And there you can kind of get an overview. It's got a crazy, crazy look to it. A lot of trash. There's some people just living right out here in the fields. You got people just taking care of uh, themselves in the puddles and working. Hello, how are you today? Hi. Yeah. And I don't think we're going to be able to cross cross this road to look at the ocean. But it's right there. That's it. There's the bridge. And there's our tour of Old Town, Cebu City, the oldest city in the Philippines, the oldest street in the Philippines, the birthplace of Christianity here in Asia. It has a lot to offer and I'd recommend checking it out before skipping off to your tropical island vacation, which I will be doing soon. Cheers.